Hello folks, this is John again and welcome to another Titch 3 tone video tutorial. This time let's try to get a Gojira tone. Now this was an interesting one for me. When I first listened to them, I thought, okay, this sounds like dual rector fire to me. So I'm just going to try that out in Titch 3 and uh, well, this is the first time it didn't quite work out for that tone. Gojira sounds much more smoother in their distortion characteristic than it would appear at first. I think that ravaging sound I, I'm getting from their music at least uh, comes a lot rather from the bass guitar and from the gritty vocals and the drum mix, but the guitars alone have a more modern smooth characteristic. And that kind of surprised me, that was pretty interesting. So I had to take another approach. And by that mean, just another amp. <laughs> so this time, not the dual rectifier. Uh, let's go for the Randall T2 boost. That got me uh, quite a bit closer. And let's switch to the modern cap. And let's switch to the 57 mic. And we are going to leave it at that already. No need for mic placement. Leaving it centered uh, gives us this more modern smooth characteristics. So let's just see what, what that uh, gives us right now. Okay, please excuse my sloppy playing. Um, I don't put too much effort into recording these uh, little things. In any case, so this still could benefit from a bit of tightening up. Let's use the Tube Screamer. And let's take the drive down and leave the rest as it is. Because we don't want the picket tag to be too bright and scratchy, especially on the power mute, so let's leave the tone at, uh, at 12 o'clock and that's already fine. All right, let's do a little bit of EQ work in here. Let's um, put that in the mix right now. So just a little bit of filter on the on the tone and let's check that out. Okay, that already works quite well. Just a little bit more of EQ touches and we are as good as done. Uh, first of all, I hear a resonance ringing somewhere in the 2K area. Let's check that out. Yep, that's exactly it. Let's take that out a couple of dB. It doesn't really take much to cut out such, free, uh, such resonances, so they don't get apparent in the full mix anymore. Because if you cut those out too much, then something will sound wrong with your tone. Okay, let's just check that out again. All right, now I want to scoop some mids. Stupid email annoying me. Okay, now with scooping those mids, uh, there's a little bit more harshness coming in. I suspect somewhere between 3 to 5k. Let's sweep that through. A little bit higher Q. Let's boost that. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's pretty much exactly at four, 4K. Let's, so let's take that out a little bit as well. Okay, and of course taking out that nasty resonance, we lose a little bit of presence, so let's boost the presence up here. Okay, not too shabby, not too shabby. I think we are pretty much there. I wouldn't know what else to change. Of course, in the mix, we could cut one or the other more resonating frequency in that upper range. Um, but for the general tone building, this right here, I think is getting us rather close. So now let's sum it up again. What do we have here? A Tube Screamer, drive down, everything else at default settings, the Randall T2. You will also get that with the metal edition of TH3 and uh, just boost the sweep and the treble and in the end everything else I left at, at default settings. Even the presence in the end I went back to 5 where it started off. And then EQ, just taking out a little bit of those, those honky mids. And the modern cap, leaving the 57 center position, no big whoop, nothing special. And then cutting out a resonance frequency at 2.2k and some nastiness at 4k. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, please shoot me a like and uh, subscribe. And also leave a comment below what kinds of tones you would like me to see do uh, next time or the time after that. <laughs> I still have quite the list to work through. And yeah, you have a great day.